What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Crystal and this is Crystal's Copia where we live a life of abundance and I love the Dollar Tree. And so today I'm going to take you through the Dollar Tree in my town and I'm going to show you 10 things that are worth the money that you might not be buying at the Dollar Tree, but that you should, that are going to either save you time, save you money, just make your life better. So if you like to see those 10 items, then just keep watching. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know the type of content that you like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a video with me again. That being said, let's get into it. Okay, my first item are these handcuffs. I'm just kidding. What the hell is this actually? This freaking me out. All right, guys, the first thing on my list is party stuff. Um, this is a great place to buy stuff for birthday parties, holidays, hostess gifts, anything like that. Cards are cheap here. They're two for a dollar. Uh, gift bags are a dollar. I mean, it's just you can't beat these prices. A lot of times you can get two gift bags for a dollar. Um, it's also a great place to buy hostess gifts. I like to get little wine bags here that are just uh, generic for any holiday and just have those on hand. Also, this is where I buy my tissue paper, scissors, tape, ribbon. I also love using the brown packing paper. I feel like it goes with any type of holiday that you would need it to, birthday, whatever, and you add a little ribbon, it looks super cute. It's also a great place if you want to go stock up on some of these items. I highly encourage that because it will save you money if you're not scrambling last minute. I even have a little spot where I keep a little zip around. I think I got this at the container store. I'll try to link something similar down below uh, where I just keep it all together so it makes wrapping gifts uh, super easy. And I also have a little plastic card organizer here I'll show you. I can't remember where I got this, but I'll try to find something similar on Amazon and link it down below. Sorry about the voiceover, guys. I have a terrible cold I'm getting over, but I did not want it to stop this video, so on we go. Okay, the next thing on my list is oral hygiene. Uh, toothbrushes, toothpaste, and mouthwash are even great things to get here. I recently, uh, I'm gonna show a picture here, did a little, uh, little, you know, oral hygiene station where I did the mouthwash and the toothpaste in little pumps. I think it looks super cute on the counter, uh, but this is also a great place to stock up. I have kids in college that are coming back and forth. A lot of times they will forget their toothbrush. So I always keep extra on hand for guests and for kids, especially if someone is sick, like myself, I'm sick right now. So I make sure to change those out um, as I'm getting better. So the next thing on my list are these big clips. And I love these big clips for a multitude of reasons. They, they work great in the kitchen if you wanna use them for uh, chip bags, crackers, anything like that. But I also love them in the summer. I use them on the back of beach chairs and it will keep your beach towel from falling down. This is also great in the craft room if you are gluing something and you need it to be held down. These work great for that and you get a lot in a pack. Oh, and it also works great for garage stuff like cables, cords that you've wound up. It's just an easy way to store stuff and then you can hang the clip um, on a nail. Okay, the next thing on my list for number three is this five pack universal tool hooks. These are awesome. I love these for the garage to hold Old brooms, rakes, things like that. I also use them in my cleaning closet to hang things. You can also DIY these. I've seen videos where they put them on a piece of stained wood and they spray paint them a different color and you can use them to hang wreaths, things like that. Uh, they just have so many uses and you get five in a pack. Okay, the next thing are these mattress covers, which seems super random, but obviously they work fine as a mattress cover. If you're moving, I wouldn't use this as like an everyday mattress cover because they're kind of lightweight and kind of thin. But what they do work awesome for is drop cloths. If you're doing any painting or crafting and you want to protect something, it also works great um, if you want to cover up patio furniture that you're storing and you don't want it to get dusty and wet. It's great in storage units if you're trying to keep things protected. You can zip around things. Okay, the next thing are light bulbs. Not just light bulbs here, but I also love the puck lights. Um, you might have seen these in a, in a different video I've done because I love them so much. I have one here on my nightstand. Um, that I use, um, you just press, it has it runs on AAA batteries, uh, it comes with a little sticky mount and I just stuck it to the wall. I don't have a lot of space on my end nightstand and so it saves space, I have a little light there, it's wonderful. And I also have one in my closet and the reason I love this is because if my husband or myself are waking up earlier, it gives enough light you can see for clothes but it doesn't wake up you know, the other person. And the other thing I love about it is I'll turn it on if I have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night because it gives me just enough light to use the bathroom without waking him up. Okay, the next thing on my list are these large canvas bags. These things are so universal. Obviously, you can use them as canvas bags. They're pretty thin, so you, they don't hold a lot of weight. They work great for putting in the back of your trunk. If you are, you know, at sporting events like I am, I keep one in the back of my trunk, and it has like a blanket, umbrella, poncho, things like that in it. These bags also work great for hanging from your passenger seat, so you can hang it and stick your purse in there so it doesn't fly all over when you're driving. Number seven is cleaning stuff, and I'm just going to show you a couple of my quick favorites. I love these little Clorox wipe packs. They're great for travel and for your handbag. 
bag. I love how small they are. They're just like the perfect size for travel. And then I also love Fabuloso. I use this on my floors at home and at the salon. It's super inexpensive, antibacterial. It has a little bit of fragrance, but not super overpowering. So I love that. And then I also love Dawn dish soap. Sorry guys, still fighting this cold. I love Dawn dish soap. I use it to clean everything. I use it to clean my showers, sinks. I just, it's such a universal product. It has hardly any fragrance. It works really well. And so um, I gotta mention that one on there. Okay, the eighth thing on my list are these little plastic organizers. And I like these ones in particular because they have a really good snap and they don't open easily. And I use these for a couple different things. I love them to organize my small dainty jewelry that I wear every day. I love them for travel for jewelry. I also use them as a little uh, pill organizer in my nightstand. I also have one in my purse. It's just awesome. I use my label maker here and I just label them, but they stay super uh, sealed. I've never had one open on me. And I like that you can see everything that's inside. Uh, you can use them for all different stuff. You can organize spices in there if you are going to like a VRBO and you don't want to pack all your spices. They're just awesome. They work for so many things. Okay, honorable mention are these candy dishes. I'm using them in my laundry room they're plastic and they're big and they're amazing but they are so hard to find if your dollar store has them they're likely going to be in the party section in a large box i've never seen them put out on the shelf they're always just in these giant boxes and i've only been able to find them like one time and so if you see them grab them up but i just put them as an honorable mention because they are so hard to find okay number nine on my list is gloves um you see me here these are just lightweight regular glove gloves if you're in a cold climate or a cool climate i like to get a couple packs of these because it seems like my teenagers and my husband we ne they never have gloves with them and so i like to keep a couple packs in my bin that i in that canvas bag i was telling you about that goes in the trunk i also like to keep one in my purse you know it's just nice because they're only a dollar if someone takes them and doesn't give them back it's not the end of the world these wouldn't have little stickums on them so you can actually use your phone this is also where we buy work gloves i'm going to show you a picture here this is in our garage i usually buy four or five pairs of these and then in the spring and summer when we're doing lawn stuff everyone has a pair of work gloves okay number 10 on my list um are these little envelopes these are plastic envelopes that come in a two-pack one is like a full paper size and this is a smaller one but these work for so many different organizing projects you can use these for bills you can use these inside your purse for receipts um if you're doing a cash envelope system they're great for that i like to keep them in my glove box with registration and insurance because they're a little bit waterproof so that kind of protects them and i also like to get all my mailing stuff at the dollar tree as well envelopes um big manila envelopes uh that i, I use those for documents a lot i like to get packs of those at the dollar tree it's also a great place to buy bubble wrap packing tape um tape in general so i have a little area in my house that has all the mail stuff right there makes it easy makes bill paying easy so i hope you guys enjoyed this video these are 10 items from the dollar tree that will save you time save you money go grab them up i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye right now i'm standing in a corner i see you from across the